Sunday morning. It's quite early in the morning, but I'm gonna head to a cafe. I need to do quite a bit of editing today. I'm very sleepy. I haven't been able to sleep very well for the past few nights, but can't help it. Couldn't sleep this morning either, so gonna work. Hello you. How's August been for you so far? A few days ago someone asked me to define my life in three words. Not an easy thing to do, but the three words that came to me were purpose, connection and self-development. For me, a sense of purpose and direction in what I do feels extremely important. a long time. I was living a life I thought I was supposed to be living according to other people's expectations. It's not like I dislike my work but I just realized that even if the work was paying me good money and I was able to live a comfortable life, deep down I was unhappy and felt purposeless. I wanted to feel passion towards what I do. Last year, my life was turned upside down and ever since I've been on a journey of being more self-aware and living more authentically. Now, I'm in the process of shifting to a career path that allows me to use my natural skills and follow a path that feels authentic to me. Even if I'm not fully sure how everything will come to fruition, I'm so excited and happy to be working on things that I love every day. Last year, amidst all the turmoil that was happening in my life, I truly realized the importance of just doing what you want to do. It can be scary, especially if you like to dream big or if it involves taking risks, but this life is a gift. And if you're not going to live it being real with yourself and doing the things that you want to do, you'll never discover how amazing life can be when you align with your purpose and passions. So, I want to ask you, how would you define your life in three words? Are you living your life accordingly? Are you following your passions? I would actually absolutely love it if you could share your thoughts in the comments. Pretty please. Okay, I hope you enjoyed my little rant about following your purpose. Maybe it gave you some food for thought. Now, moving on to some more Tokyo vibes cute cafes and everyday life, you know, all that jazz. Good morning, I am on my way to Toyo Soup Fish Market. It is my first time. We're gonna have sushi there, then we're gonna also explore the area a bit.
I don't come to Nihonbashi often, but I feel like whenever I do come, I really enjoy it. It's like a hidden selection of really nice cafes, restaurants, bars. I would recommend Nihonbashi. It's kind of like seen as this like, you know, office area, but there's really nice spots to discover here.
Oh my god, she's in the bathroom. Oh my god, it's shaking so bad. <laughs> what, wait, what are you screaming? <laughs> Are you scared? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I wanted to make like yeah. Hello. Today there will be fireworks quite close to where I live. We're planning to watch the fireworks from my rooftop with a couple of friends. That's my friend. Editing. I am in the middle of nowhere, still in Tokyo. I am on my way to go see some sunflowers. We're going with a couple friends. If you want to see sunflowers, this is the place to be. I have never been there. Excited to see what sunflower fields look like. It's a very hot day. I'm also very tired. I slept insanely poorly last night. <sighs> Trying to drink caffeine keep myself alive in the heat. I'm so sweaty, oh my god, it's so hot. My friends apparently are at another entrance. I'm gonna try and meet up with them in the middle of the field. Yeah. Ah, I actually have never seen that or like gone and seen Fujinohana somewhere. It's so cute, it's kind of so thing. local. Coco this. Oh. It looks good. Cute. Probably when, when it's the yeah, poured. Oh, we need to pour it at the same time. 